Welcome back. In this video, we are going to start the finishing process of our clay tile. Um, in this video, I would like to talk about texture. Texture is how something feels, or maybe even just looks like it feels. Somewhere in your clay tile, I would like you to make some texture for one of the things you have. Now, a couple different things is this tile now is what we would call leather hard. It's much more hard than it was before. I can hold this up, and if I like, just gently look at bending it, it doesn't bend at all. It's nice and stiff. Um, one thing I've done here on the edge is I've taken one of my clay tools and I've just kind of scraped the edge like this and you can see how the chunks kind of come off in more of like a shaved chocolate kind of look here rather than um, rather than kind of gooing off in the past how it's kind of like been sticky um, or soft the clay now is a little bit uh, drier and you're able to shape it and like kind of pay a little bit more attention to having it be smooth. So again, here on this side, I can kind of take this, um, the, just the flat edge of this popsicle stick and kind of trim the edges so that they're nice and smooth rather than kind of before how it was kind of gloppy and it was hard to smooth out. Um, so on the last day, your clay should be fairly dry so that you can kind of trim these edges, make them look nice, um, and make sure that there's no like chunks on the bottom of your clay so that when you put it into the kiln, it's not going to scratch things. So you can just take the bottom and trim it around like this. Okay, this is kind of just a finishing piece. Once you get that finished um, and you've got your clay tile um, ready here, let's talk about our texture. now. Um, you're going to have the same kind of tools that you've had before and I'm adding this one and it's basically just the same popsicle stick with the uh, paper clip on the end with the paper clip just drawn out straight. Uh, for texture purposes let's take my tree trunk here. If I just take my tree trunk and I draw on it, um, this one is a little bit uh, too long, uh, but you can see if I just kind of make some drawn line marks here like the texture for a tree trunk I can kind of get um, some little little lines drawn on here as if this tree trunk has some texture um, I can also if I want to here take a different tool maybe this one here and if I hold it this way let's see let's hold it this way I can maybe start just pressing in to the surface a little bit to make some texture like these are the leaves on the tree um, so you can kind of see there how I'm pressing that in so somewhere in your picture or rather tile um, think about overlapping some kind of something you can draw in the texture I could even take the tip of this popsicle stick here and draw this this branch texture in or for example I, I mean if, if I just speed up and go through the process of making this you can kind of see how that texture if I just keep going maybe even going like this on a couple ones over it you can get some different textures uh, if I flip this tile over just to show you on the back I could take this little point and make textures this way I could take my curved popsicle stick and make textures like this okay I could take this little piece here and I could bend it into whatever and I could you know take it and press it into the surface or I could take this and I could draw into the surface so there's many different ways that you could create texture for your tile okay now on this uh, Zen circle I want it to be smooth smooth is also a texture so you can leave part of your um, part of your 
tile smooth as your texture, but I want you to think outside of smooth and think, okay, I want this part to be smooth and I want this to have um, a texture to match whatever it is. Maybe it's a, a shoe and you want it to have a like fabric like shoe texture. Maybe it's a cloud and you want it to have a lumpy cloud texture. I don't know. There's so many variety of things I can't name them all, but I want you to be thinking about on your picture, your tile, what kind of texture can you create that's believable. Maybe it's even additive. Maybe you add a little couple things to make texture. For example, on these hammers, my original drawing had the like, you know, wrapped around um, texture for the for the hammer handle. So I'm going to take this tool and I'm just going to draw in like the hammer wrapping on the handle. And in my drawing I made this line kind of curved because I knew this would be a three-dimensional object by the time I was done. So now that it's a three-dimensional object, I'm actually taking the texture and I'm uh, wrapping it around the side. You can kind of see right here. This is, you know, the little texture is not only on the top part of that handle, but it has to be on the side of that handle as well. Okay, otherwise, um, it's not going to read quite the right way. So there's my handle texture around the edge. Okay, The last step is to make the border pattern and make sure that border pattern looks nice. Now I'm just going to take my um, popsicle stick tool here with my um, paper clip and I'm just going to do my wiggly line and make sure that my wiggly line uh, touches my border like I wanted it to and I'm going to redraw it just ever so slightly so that it fits kind of the way I had originally intended it And then to make the little circles that I originally had on here, I'm just going to push my, my paper clip in and twist it to make the little circle marks, kind of like that. All right, and then I'm going to go back in here and kind of clean these little edges up as I go through. Now. Uh, I could spend a whole lot more time making every little detail of this very nice and what I'm going to do is spend some time off the camera fixing up all of these lines and then upload a, a non-talking video where I just work on fixing it all up. Um, but my main goal for this video was to make sure that somewhere on your picture slash tile you are showing texture, how something feels. Maybe you're drawing the texture in, maybe you're pressing a tool into the surface to make texture, maybe you're drawing it, and you can have smooth texture as well by kind of smoothing with one of your tools and kind of making sure that it's all even. But I do want you to make sure that you're thinking about texture and although most of your areas will be smooth texture, I want you to have a couple areas that have texture as well as just smooth texture.